Hi, my name is Mrs. Reitz, and I am the first grade teacher at St. Albert the Great at Assumption Academy. Welcome to the virtual portion of Meet the Teacher Night. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a rundown of some of the things that we do in first grade, a little bit of how the room works, how things are going to run throughout the year. So first I wanted to talk a little bit about curriculum. Some of the things that are staying similar or staying the same are our religion curriculum, which is the Christ Our Life series. We have a textbook that we'll use. We'll be reading a lot of Bible stories and learning about Jesus's life and learning how to pray to God. A lot of things like that, learning different prayers. We will be participating in Mass every Friday and getting ready for what will eventually be their first communion year in second grade. So we have the same book there, same curriculum there. Our social studies is also very similar to what we've been doing over the past years. It's not a new book or curriculum or anything. We do a lot with wants and needs. We do a lot with past, present, future, different national holidays, uh, Black History Month, things like that. Another thing that we kept for this year is our ELA program, which is Super Kids. If your child was here in kindergarten, they've already been introduced to all of our characters. Here at Assumption, we have Super Kids from K through 2, which means all of our stories, all of our activities are all being used with the same characters, same Super Kid characters. So this is our workbook. All of the activities in here involve the same Super Kids. We also have our text. We have two of these that we'll go through throughout the year with lots of different stories following the adventures of our lovely super kids. To go along with that, we have spelling words each week. They might seem a little bit challenging at first compared to the kindergarten words, but I promise your kids will catch on quick. They always do. And they really enjoy what we get to do with our spelling words in the class. There will also be a homework packet for ELA. I'll send it home every Monday. It'll be due back on Friday. It includes a front cover, which has a short passage that we'll read in class on Mondays, and then they can read it at home, along with some other short activities to go along with what we do throughout the week. So that is basically ELA. Some of the new things that I'm very excited about this year, are we got a new math program. It's called Reveal Math. I'm very excited about it. It has a great online component where I can work with the kids in the classroom doing things up on the active panel and things like that. It really shows them how math works and how it's used in the real world. They'll have a work in text, so it's not a hardcover textbook, it's a workbook. And one of the most exciting things about this program is this particular book. It's an extra practice book. It's called the Student Practice Book. I'm actually going to be sending this book home. It's gonna stay at home there is an extra practice page for every single lesson that we will be doing. So on Mondays, I send home a weekly newsletter, and on that newsletter, it'll give you the page numbers that go with the lessons that we'll be doing this week. Now, they are not required. It's totally optional. However, I will collect this book once a quarter to see if you have done, or if your child has done, any of the extra pages, and there might just be a reward for them if they have. Other than that, we also got a very, very cool new science program. It's called Science Fusion. This also came with a work in text that the kids will get to read in and write in. We'll get to do lots of experiments. Um, it came with a whole experiment kit. So we'll do lots of fun things there. We'll be doing things with like the weather, the stars, a lot about habitats and animals. That's one of my favorite units closer to the end of the year. We learn about all the different habitats. We then do an animal research project, and then we get to create a shoebox diorama. You may have noticed on my supply list that there is a shoebox. You can go ahead and keep that at home for now. We won't need it until closer to the end of the year. But that is our new science program. Other than that, a few things about our classroom. One, we definitely will have snack every day. So if you'd like to send in a healthy snack for your child, that would be awesome. Please try to avoid anything liquidy. We're trying to keep the mess to a minimum. 
And please remind your child that there will be no sharing snacks. We do have some allergies, so we're just gonna keep that clear. We're not sharing anything. Um, as far as birthdays go, I've already sent you guys an email asking for your favorite birthday donut or your child's favorite birthday donut so I can have that little treat for them on their birthday morning. You are allowed to send in birthday treats. However, we try to keep them to non-food items. Many parents opt to do goodie bags with pencils, erasers, things like that. If you do want to send in a treat, please make sure that it is individually packaged because they do get sent home. Other than that, the main thing I wanted to let you guys know about is our behavior chart for the classroom. I'll give you a little sneak peek over there. We've got our clip chart over here. Everyone starts on green, ready to learn. You can get clipped up to blue or purple or down to yellow, orange, or red based on your student's behavior for the day. You'll be able to keep track of this on their weekly behavior log. This will be in their folders. We'll get a new one every Monday. They'll have their name, the week, a spot for them to color in their day each day. There's a spot for comments if I wanted to let you know of anything good or bad that happened throughout the day. And I just ask that you initial it each day so I know that you're seeing it. At the bottom, there's a little rundown of what each color means. And that is pretty much it. I would be happy to answer any of your questions. Hopefully I'll get to see and meet some of you at Meet the Teacher Night. Um, if you want to bring in any supplies, you can absolutely do that. It'll help me get organized a little bit before the first day of school. Um, if you can't make Meet the Teacher Night, please feel free to email me. I would be happy to answer any of your questions. I cannot wait to start a new year with all of your first graders.